Oke, okay, uh, sekretariat makanan di tengah sini soalnya. Good afternoon, good afternoon everyone. Um, before we formally start the meeting, may I request Miss Eloisa Casimiro to lead us to a prayer. Miss Eloisa, please. Thank you. Let us pray. Lord, Father, God. Thank you for the goodness and mercy that we receive that we receive every day. We thank you for the work you have blessed us with. Grant us the wisdom to make this meeting productive. May you be our guide in everything that we need to accomplish. Direct our thoughts, words, and deeds so that in you we begin and finish them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, uh, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, Secretariat, please do the roll call. Oh yes. Good afternoon, po. Um, welcome to today's Bak Alpa session. Um, for our roll call, kindly acknowledge your name. Kindly acknowledge your attendance as I call your name. Um, starting with our presiding officer, uh, Engineer Arnold Balukating. Good afternoon, po. General Ernesto Milo. Good afternoon, sir. I'm Engineer Elmer Gomez. Present online. Uh, from back at uh, PWG, joining us is Engineer Raul Cruzena. Uh, present po. Engineer Eva Lazatin. Engineer Joffer and Joseph Torrefranca. Present po. Engineer Emmanuel Tolosa. Present online. Engineer Eduardo Sacopon. Uh, Engineer Norik Baez. Present online. Mr. Mark Kevin Badua. Present. Uh, from the back secretariat, our overall head, Engineer Leandro Barquez. Attorney Godfrey Tagudo, Engineer Sunny, Engineer Sunny Billiabert, present, and our minute taker, Miss Eloisa Casimiro. We also have a representative from the end user, uh, from ANS and ADMS, and also observer from EAS. Uh, with the majority of the back Alpa composition being present today, we have a quorum, sir. And for the presentation of the agenda, I will hand over now to Attorney Tagudo. Thank you for. Thank you, Ms. Kat. Maybe allow Mr. Chair to share the agenda for today's uh, meeting. Proceed. Nako. Yung, yung, yung ano, yung... Uh, akikita na po sir Readable na po Pataman na ay lakihan mo ng konti Ah okay sir Much better na po sir yeah. Okay sir uh, After the court Court order as per the Notice Mr. Chair Our agenda Next agenda is the pre-procurement conference for the project entitled Construction of Collection Building at Top Complex with an ADC. Excuse me, uh, Tony. Uh, yes, sir. Kaya naman yung naka-on yung fan, yung uh, microphone, kapi-off lang ka, hindi maka-disturb sa presentation ni Tony. Okay. Okay, proceed, Tony. Okay, sir. Okay na po ba, sir? Mayroon kaya itong nakaunang camera, paki-off lang yung iba. Naririnig eh. Sige, attorney, proceed. Siguro dito, Mr. Kasama ko si Tagaanso dito, sir. And yeah, sir, for the first item for the agenda for today is the pre-procurement conference for the construction of collection building at Kaap Complex in the amount of 6,161,769 pesos and 69 cents. The end user is ID 
the presenter for the, this meeting is ADMS. May I request ADS, ADMS representative to present this project? Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, okay. Okay. I-share ko lang po yung ano, screen ka, sir. Okay. Stop. I'll just stop sharing. But before we proceed, sir, Glenn, may I ask uh, any prospective leader from this, uh, from the, or present right now, may request sales through Attorney, Attorney, this is a free procurement presentation, isn't it? Yes, sir. So we don't, we don't need to be there. Free procurement. Yes, sir. Suppose you bakas sa next agenda sa free bid, sir. So we go to Mr. Salles through them. So, sir, may request po na ano po yung attendan nyo ngayon? Is it for the pre-bid? The next is okay. uh, Sa pre-bid po. Sir, uh, kindly leave muna po. Siguro after a while. Okay, sige po. Uh, dun sa ano po ba? Anong i-attendan nyo? Sa air traffic light gun po ba? O sa, sa ilo-ilo po? Sir, sa safe? Nag-lead na, sir. May also request Colby. Sa presentative from Colby. Hello, sir, ma'am. Colby. Also, sir, Malcolm Ong. Sir, sir Malcolm. Yes, good afternoon po. Saan po kayo mag-attend po? Doon sa pre-bid mamaya po, sir? Yes po, sa light gun. Mamaya pa po yun, sir. Sige, uh, exit po, po muna kami. Sige, sir, please po. We will okay. uh, accept nyo na lang afterwards. Sige, Sige sir. thank you. Sige, sir, thank you po. Hmm. Also, for Evercon, will work. Okay, Sir, ma'am, sa Everpoint. Everpoint. Sige, sir. Pa. Wala na po yatang mga other. Sige po. Sige, sir. So, sa EDMS na po, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, I-share ko na po yung screen, sir. Uh, nakikita niyo po ba yung uh, presentation, sir? Yeah, okay na. Okay, okay. Good afternoon. The end user would like to present construction of collection building at Kaap Complex. So this this is the uh, site development plan for the side project. Uh, yung location natin ng Kaap Complex is beside lang siya ng annex building. Uh, I mean uh, collection building is beside the annex building and in front of communal toilet building. These are the uh, floor plans. Okay. For ground floor. Okay, so ulit tayo pakikwan nga doon sa lugar muna. Doon okay, sir. So, sa pagitan ng uh, FSIS building at saka... Yes po, Annex. 
next building. Okay, sige. Okay. Ito po yung magiging floor plans para sa collection building. For ground floor, sa baba, yung second floor is yung magiging file storage area niya. Then meron siyang roof deck. Ito yung magiging front view uh, perspective niya. Left side view. And then the right side view. The construction of collection building at Kaap Complex with a total of 6,961,769 and 69 centavos uh, uh, The prospective bidder should possess the following technical personnel as follows equipment as follows then the pickup license of small b License category C and D, building and industrial plant. The completion of the work is required 120 calendar days. A complete set of building documents may be acquired in the amount of 11,200 pesos, inclusive of 12% BAT. Then under bid data sheet, ITB clause number three, Certificate of inspection, site inspection, duly signed by Lieutenant Colonel Valentino A. Junella of Aerodrome Development and Management Service, or his duly as authorized representative, is required to be submitted. This shall include all of the following documents as follows. Company ID of the person who conducted the site inspection, copy of the airport or facility visitor's logbook, and picture of the proposed site, including the personnel who conducted the site inspection together with the airport manager or officer in charge of his duly authorized representative. Then, for this purpose, contracts similar to the project refer to contracts which have the same major categories of work, which shall be a building construction or improvement or rehabilitation or repair. And subcontracting is not allowed. Under ITB clause 10.3, the pickup license or special pickup license in case of joint ventures and registration, small b license category C and D for vertical works, building and industrial plan for the type and cost of the contract to be bid. Bids that not complying with the above instruction shall be disqualified. ITB clause 10.4, these are the key personnel required requirements with a minimum years of experience set below. For key personnel, uh, civil, electrical, mechanical, master plumber, construction safety and health officer, at, uh, five years in general engineering and three years in building construction or improvement or rehabilitation or repair. Bids not complying with the above instructions will be disqualified. ITV clause 10.5, the minimum major equipment requirements are the following. One unit plate compactor, one unit portable welding machine, one unit concrete pump diesel driven with pipes, and then one unit plate compactor. Bids not complying with the above instructions shall be disqualified. These are the technical and financial documents. Ito naman po yung scope of work ng project. So, meron tayong mobilization and demobilization. For under structural works, we have the site works, concrete works, and masonry works. For architectural works, meron tayong tile works, waterproofing works, painting works, drywall and wall cladding works, ceiling works, carpentry works, and doors and windows. 
for electrical works, we have lighting and power conduit and fittings, wires and cables, electrical wiring devices, lighting fixtures, boxes and pool boxes, air conditioning units, power supply. Maribi. Sir? Sorry, sorry, go ahead. Okay. Uh, panel board or circuit breaker, service entrance conductors, service entrance conduits and fittings, termination accessories, and for mechanical works, we have two sets of inverted ceiling cassette split type ECCU, one set of inverter ceiling cassette split type ECCU, and one set of inverter ceiling cassette split type ECCU with corresponding specs. And under plumbing works, we have catch basin, storm drainage lines, cold water lines, waste water lines, fixtures, and countertop. And then the last uh, item is the furnitures. Uh, that's all, Mr. Chair. Uh, okay. Uh, first, may, uh, mayroon akong query. Uh, Glenn, naka-align yes, ba, naka ba to sa master plan ng, ano, ng compound ng uh, ka-up? Kasi parang alanganin yung lugar niya, di ba? Parang hindi ba masisira yung parang arrangement ng mga buildings dito sa ka-up kung magtatayo tayo doon ng ano? I don't know kung anong pa dito eh. Anong justification? Bakit yan, dyan, dyan yung nilagay? <coughs> Uh, sir, I think naka-align naman po siya sir sa, ano, sa master plan sir. Kasi before po namin ina... Uh, pak Pakikuan niyo mo display. Pakikuan mo yung, ano, yung map. Ano ba yun? Yung pakili. Okay. okay sir. Wait sir. Ayan sir. Oh, so... Tignan, uh, mamimaintain ma pa rin yung walkway down sa harap? Uh, yes po. Yes sir, mamimaintain pa rin po yan. May, mayroon pa rin po tayong walk, walkway. Okay. So, tapos yung communal toilet pupunta sa likod? Uh, yung communal, communal toilet sir, hindi po natin gagalawin yan sir. As is pa rin po siya sir. May, then may space pa rin po siya. Ng, may access pa rin po siya papunta ron sir. Mayroon puno ng kao yata doon. Naalisin yun. Ah, uh, yung nasa harap, sir, medyo maliliit pa yung puno doon. Pwede po natin i-relocate yun, sir, kung, kung kaya or hindi. Pwede natin siyang i-cut. Then, yung nara tree dito sa gilid, sir, hindi po natin siya puputulin. Uh, i-trim lang po siya, sir. Pero katabi na ng, ng pader ng ano, ng gagawin building. Diba? Uh, may distansya pa naman po, sir. Distansya. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, sige. Ang um, about yung ano, yung uh, ano to, yung itsura ng building naka hindi ba magkakaroon ng parang kung titingnan mo yung lumang building na dalawang katabi eh hindi ba parang masisira yun ano. Naka naka-pattern din ba yun? Uh, what do you mean sir is yung design sir? Hmm. baka bagong-bago yan tapos yung katabi eh, ano, <laughs> eh an ano lang ko to ano parang sarili kong kwan lang ito kasi parang ah, yes, sir. parang uh, magtatayo ka ng panibagong building sa tabi ng ano tapos uh, uh, parang tin ano lang uh, doon daw kung yung mga ibang members dito sa committee present kung mayroon kayong comment dito why not uh, parang ang tinitingnan ko kasi bakit hindi na lang gumawa ng extension nung mga existing building nakaparehas din nung ano nung, nung existing building para hindi parang alanganin yung itsura ng building. Pero ano lang personal kwan ko lang yon, uh, observation ko lang. So uh, siguro I open yung ano kung mayroon kayong mga comment doon sa ibang uh, members dito sa committee dito, sa back members or PWCC, Saul, baka mayroon kang ano dito. Uh, Pusina ba? Meron kang input dito? 
Wala. Okay, sige. Uh, kung ano, uh, I assume na parang approve naman na yan ng DG. So, okay na. So, pinang ko lang yung query ko. Kung ano. Okay, so may question kayo dun sa, ano, sa project na to. Okay, so wala, walang question. So, Glenn, uh, ano yung request mo? Ano yung kwanin nyo as end user? Uh, the end user would like to request uh, posting of construction of uh, collection building at Kaap Complex. Okay. Uh, so, uh, PWG, in the comment. Wait. PWG, please. Do we have PWG? Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Ah, uh, sir, regarding po dun sa duration nung ano, nung project po, 120 days. Parang hindi po yata kaya 'yon based dun sa sa totoong nangyayari kapag during construction. Okay, so end user, may roof deck siya. So, take note, uh, end user anong comment niyo doon? 120 days lang yung binigay niyo. So Uh, sir, sir, yung yung duration po natin, sir, is nakabase naman po tayo sa computation, sir, ng uh, total duration kung paano pa tayo nag-come up sa, sa ganyan, sir. Nandun po yun sa ginawa nating uh, construction schedule. Mm -hmm. so, so that is only four, four months, di ba? Yes, sir. So, TWG, anong, anong, uh, anong kwan mo doon? Uh, okay naman daw. Base sa ano, sa scope of work. Comment? Ano yung uh, suggestion nyo kung hindi uh, sabi nyo mababa yung ano, yung number of days Ano yung suggestion nyo doon? TWG, please comment. Ah, uh, okay po. Uh, check, review na lang po namin, sir. Okay, how about the request of the end user na sa posting ng project? Amenable ba kayo doon? Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, with that, with the uh, request of end user and the TWG is concurring for the posting of the project, any motion or from the members of the BAP? Motion, Mr. Chair. Go ahead, Elmer. Yes, we to adopt the recommendation of the Commission BWG for the posting of the project collection building at the CAP complex. Okay, thank you. Uh, I second the motion, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you, sir. So, with that, uh, the BAC will adopt the, recommend the, the recommendation of uh, with the motion and second the motion for the posting of the project. Uh, for the posting of the project, for the construction of building for, uh, for the construction of building for collection, collection unit. Okay. okay, so, okay, next agenda. Sir, Lynn, can we stop presenting? Glenn. Okay. Thank you. With that, Mr. Chair, uh, we go now uh, to the next
Secretariat, please. The next agenda, Mr. Chair, is the prelude to projects. First is the supply and delivery of air traffic light gun with an amount for, with an ABC of 3,720,000 pesos. The end user is ANS. I request representatives from or representative from ANS to present this uh, project for the prelude conference. Uh, before presenting this one, uh, let's let's allow the prospective leader to join. Okay. Yes, sir. We are now joining. Uh, we have uh, Ebercon uh, Engineering through them and LDC Idosi. May I request the prospective leaders, namely LDC Iloilo Sales? Ebercon Builders and Engineering Protep. Are they uh, attending for the purpose for the, the previous conference for the supply and delivery of air traffic like that? Kindly indicate your answer, sir, yes or no, in our inbox. For the representatives from LDC Iloilo Sales, Engineering through temp and Embercon builders. Again, may we request if we are participating for the previous conference for the supply and delivery of air traffic light guide. Kindly respond through the inbox in our message. Yes or no. Before we proceed with the preview for this project. Sir, Sir Ma'am from Evercon. Okay. How about from Engineering Through Temp and Evercon? Are you participating for the supply and delivery of tri air traffic light gun as prospective bidder? Yes. How about sa Engineering Through Temp? Okay, sir, kindly complete as well your uh, personal details, your full name, and your position or designation in the company. Thank you. Kindly incorporate as well in the chat box. Thank you. Again, we are calling Engineering Through Temp, whether they are participating as prospective bidder for this supply and delivery of air traffic light gun. Okay, they, they just left the meeting, Mr. Chair. So, again, for Ebercon and LDC, may we request for the completion of your personal details, your full name, the representatives for today's meeting, as well as the position and designation in the company. Thank you. Okay. okay. In two, sir, I uh, TWD, you could now present. Sure, sir. Uh, Malino na po ba yung ano, yung presentation? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you can proceed. Okay, okay good afternoon, everyone. Uh, please welcome to Prebid Conference for the Project Supply and Delivery of Air Traffic Light Gun with bid number 22.010.05 alpha. Uh, the outlines for this presentation for this conference are as follows. Invitation to bid, instructions to bidders with corresponding BDS, general conditions of the contract with, with corresponding SCC, checklist, and the last one is the discussion clarification from the bidders. Invitation to bid, uh, the civil the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines through the CAAP corporate operating budget for fiscal year 2022 intends to apply the total sum of 3,720,000 being the approved 
budget for the contract to payments under the contract supply and delivery of air traffic light gun with CAA project ID number 22.010.05 alpha. Uh, the item descriptions for these uh, projects are six sets of portable air traffic light guns with charger and cradle station. Uh, bids received in excess of the ABC shall be automatically rejected at bid opening. The CAAP now invites bid for the above procurement project. Delivery of goods is required within 90 calendar days. Bidders should have completed within five years from the date of submission and receipt of bids a contract similar to the project. The description of an eligible bidder is contained in the bidding documents, particularly in Section 2, Instruction to Bidders. Bidding will be conducted through an open competitive bidding procedures using a non-discretionary pass-fail criterion as specified in the 2016 revised implementing rules and regulations of Republic Act 9184. Bidding is restriction, restricted to Filipino citizens, sole proprietorships, partnerships, or organizations with at least 60% interest or outstanding capitalist stock belonging to citizens of the Philippines and to citizens or organizations of a country in laws of regulation of which grant similar rights or privileges to Filipino citizens pursuant to RA number 5183. Invitation to bid. The prospective bidders may obtain further information from CAAP and inspect the bidding documents at the address given during office hours from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Friday, except declared holidays, weekends, and suspensions of work. Complete set of bidding documents may be acquired on June 7, 2022, until the deadline of submission of bids from CAAP, back office, Pasay City, and upon payment of the applicable fee for the bidding documents pursuant to the latest guide, guidelines issued by the GPPB in the amount of 5,600 pesos, inclusive of 12% VAT, the procuring entity shall allow the bidder to present its proof of payment for the fees through email. Bids must be duly received by the back secretariat through manual submission at the office address given on or before 28 June 2022 at 2 p.m. Late bids shall not be accepted. All bids must be accompanied by a bid security in any of the acceptable forms and in the amount stated in the ITB clause for payment. Bid opening shall be on 28 June 2022 at 2 p.m at Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines back office and or via online conference through Google Meet, bids will be open in the presence of the bidders or representatives who choose to attend the activity. The Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines reserves the right to reject any and all bids, declare failure of bidding, or not award a contract at any time prior to contract award in accordance with Section 35.6 and 41 of the 2016 revised IRR of RA9184 without thereby incurring any liabilities to the affected bidders or bidders. For further information, please refer to Engineer Leandro Arvas Varquez, overall head of the back secretariat, CAAP, Mia Road, Pasay City, telephone number 7-944-2358. You may also visit the following websites for downloading of bidding documents, www.tiljeps.gov.ph and cap.gov.ph. Yes, Manny. Uh, instruction to bidders with corresponding yes. BDS. Manny? Number one, scope Manny? of bidding. Yep. Uh, yung uh, pangalan ni pangalan ni Riando Barques sa uh, mukhang mali paki kwan lang okay so we'll we'll just uh mm, yeah, okay correction uh the uh, the overall head back of back secretariat is engineer Leandro R Barques not Leandor as uh, shown here Scope of bid. The procuring entity, CAP, wishes to receive bids for the supply and delivery of air traffic light gun with identification number 22-010-05 alpha. The procurement project referred, referred to herein as project is composed of one lot, 
the details of which are described in Section 7, Technical Specification. Funding information. Uh, the, sor the source of funding is the corporate operating budget indicated uh, below, uh, indicate uh, corporate operating budget for fiscal year 2022 indic with the indicated amount of 3,720,000 pesos. Bidding requirements. The bidding for the project shall be governed by all the provisions of RA number 9184 and its 2016 revised IRR, including its generic procurement manual and associated policies, rules, and regulations as the primary source thereof, while the here closes shall serve as the secondary source thereof. Any amendments made to the IRR and the GPBB, GPP, GPPB issue one shall be applicable only to the ongoing posting, advertisement, or IB by the back through the issuance of supplemental or bid bulletin. <clears throat> the bidder, by the act of submitting its bid, shall be deemed to have verified and accepted the general requirements of these projects, including other factors that may affect the cost, duration, and execution or implementation of the contract, project, or work, and examine all instructions, forms, terms, and project requirements in the bidding documents. Corrupt, fraudulent, collusive, and coercive practices. The procuring entity, as well as the bidders and suppliers, shall observe the highest standard of ethics during the procurement and execution of the contract. They or through an agent shall not engage in corrupt, fraudulent, collusive, coercive, and obstructive practices defined under Annex I of the 2016 IRR of RA9184 or other integrity violation in competing for the project. Eligible bidders, only bids of bidders found to be legally, technically, and financially capable will be evaluated. Foreign ownership, ownership limited to those allowed under the rules may participate in this project. Uh, Pursuant to section 23.4.1.3 of the 2016, revised IRR of RA9184, the bidder shall have an SLCC that is at least one contract similar to the project value of which adjusted to current prices using the PSA CPI must be at least equivalent to for the procurement of non-expendable supplies and services. The bidder must have completed a single contract that is similar to this project equivalent to at least 50% of the ABC. For this uh, item, under the bid data sheet, uh, the contract similar to the project shall be the supply and delivery of aerodrome visual aids and completed within five years prior to the deadline for the submission and receipt of bids. The bidder shall comply with the eligibility criteria under section 23.4.1 of the 2016 IRR RA9184. Origin of goods, there is no restrictions on the origin of goods and other than those prohibited by a decision of the UN, Sec UN Security Council taken under Chapter 7 of the Charter of the UN, subject to domestic preference requirements under ITB Clause 18. Subcontracts. Uh, the, the bidder may subcontract portion of the project to the extent allowed by the procuring entity as is stated herein but in no case more than 20% of the project. The procuring entity has prescribed that subcontracting sub sub is not allowed. Pre-bid conference. The procuring entity will hold a pre-bid conference for this project on a specified date and time. Then clarification and amendment of bidding documents. Prospective bidders may request for clarification on and or interpretation of any part of the bidding documents. Such request must be in writing and received by the procuring entity, either at its given address or through electronic mail indicated in the instructions to bidders, at least 10 calendar days before the deadline set for the submission and receipt of bids. Documents comprising the bid eligibility and technical components. The first envelope shall contain the eligibility and technical documents of the bid as specified in section 8. Uh, for this, under the bid data sheet, 
uh, per cap memorandum dated September 2018, disqualification of prospective bidders with pending case against the government in the procurement activities of the CAAP, all prospective bidders shall be required to submit the following. First, a certification under oath attesting that they have no pending case cases against the government in addition to the eligibility requirements for bidders as prescribed under the revised implementing rules and regulations of RA 9184. And second, legal clearance to be issued by the CAAP enforcement and legal service with respect to the non-pendency or any cases of prospective bidders against the authority. The bidders SLCC indi as indicated in ITB close 5.3 should have been completed within five years prior to the deadline of the submission of the civil bids. If the eligibility requirements or statements, the bids and all other documents for submission of, to the BAC are in foreign language other than English, it must be accompanied by a translation in English, which shall be authenticated by the appropriate Philippine Foreign Service establishment, post, or the equivalent office having jurisdiction over the foreign bidders affairs in the Philippines. Similar to the required authentication above for contracting parties to the apostille convention, only the transla translated documents shall be authenticated through an apostille pursuant to GPPB resolution number 13-2019 dated 23 May 2019. The English translation shall govern for purpose of interpretation of the bid. Documents comprising the bid financial component the second bid envelope shall contain the financial document for the bid as is specified in Section 8, Checklist of Technical and Financial Documents. If the bidder claims preference as a domestic bidder or domestic entity, a certification issued by the DTI shall be provided by the bidder in accordance with Section 43.1.3 of the 2016 Revised IRR of RA9184. Any bid exceeding the ABC indicated in paragraph one of the instruction to bidders shall not be accepted. For foreign funded procurement, a ceiling may be applied to bid prices provided the conditions are met under section 31.2 of the 2016 revised IRR of RA9184. Bid prices. Prices indicated on the price schedule shall be entered se separately in the following manner. Uh, for this uh, close, uh, the, in, the bid, in the bid data sheet, the price of the goods shall be quoted DDP, CAAP, near road, Pasay City, or the applicable international commercial terms, INCO terms for this project. For goods offered from within the procuring entity's country, the price of the goods quoted EXW, X Words, X Factory, X Warehouse, X Showroom, or off the shelf as applicable. The cost of all customs, duties, and sales, and other taxes already paid or payable. The cost of transportation, insurance, and other costs incidental to the delivery of the goods to their final destination, and the price of other incidental services, if any, listed in the PDS. For the goods offered from abroad, Unless otherwise stated in the BDS, the price of the goods shall be quoted delivered duty pay, paid DDP with the place of destination in the Philippines as specified in the BDS. In quoting for the price, the bidder shall be free to use transportation through carriers registered in any eligible country. Similarly, the bidder may obtain insurance services from any eligible source country. The price of other incidental services, if any, is listed in Section 7, Technical Specification and in PDS. Bid and payment currencies. For goods that the bidder will supply from outside of the Philippines, the bid prices may be quoted in the local currency or tradable currency accepted by the BSP as at the discretion of the bidder. However, for the purposes of bid evaluation, Bids denominated in foreign currencies shall be converted to Philippine currency based on the exchange rate as public in the BSP reference rate bulletin on the day of the bid opening. Payments of the contract price shall be made in Philippine pesos. Bid security. 
the bidder shall submit a bid securing declaration or any form of bid security in the amount indicated in the BTS, which shall not which shall be not less than the percentage of the ABC in accordance with the schedule in the BTS. Here on the BDS, the bid security shall be in the form of bid securing declaration or any of the following forms and amounts. The amount not, of not less than 74,400 pesos, which is equivalent to 2% of the ABC. If bid security is in cash, cashers or managers check bank draft guarantee or revocable letter of credit. The amount of not less than 186,000 pesos, which is equivalent to 5% of the ABC, if the bid security is in surety bond. The bid and bid security shall be valid until 120 calendar days. Any bid not accompanied by an acceptable bid security shall be rejected by the procuring entity as non responsive. Sealing and marking of bids. Each bidder shall submit one copy of the first and second component of its bids. Uh, the procuring entity may request additional hard copies and or electronic copies of the bid. However, failure of the bidder, bidders to comply with the said request shall not be a ground for disqualification. If the procuring entity allows the submission of bids through the online submission or any other electronic means, the bidder shall submit an electronic copy of its bid, which must be digitally signed. An electronic copy that cannot be opened or is corrupted shall be considered non-responsive and thus automatically disqualified. Under the bid data sheet, it's and every page thereof shall be initialed by the duly authorized representative of the bidder. Submitted eligibility, technical, and financial doc documents shall be properly marked with index tabs or ear tabs and must be sequentially paginated in accurate order in the form of page 3 of 100. Pagination shall be sequentially or throughout documents inside the envelope. Bids not complying with the above instructions shall be automatically disqualified. And last, each bidder shall, submi shall submit one copy of the first and second component of its bid. Uh, this is the illustration of the table of content, the index tabs, and um, the pagination. Uh, deadline for submission of bids. The bidder shall submit on the specified date and time and either at its physical address or through online submission as indicated in paragraph 7 of the IP. Opening and preliminary examination of bids. The back shall open the bids in public at the time, on the date, and at the place specified in paragraph 9 of the instruction to bidders. The bidders' representatives who are present shall sign a register register evidencing their attendance. In case of video conferencing, so webcasting, or other similar technologies will be used, attendance of participants shall likewise be recorded by the box secretariat. In case the bids cannot be opened as scheduled due to, the, due to justifiable reasons, the rescheduling requirements under Section 29 of the 2016 revised IRR of RA9184 shall prevail. The preliminary examination of bids shall be governed by a section by section 30 of the 2016 revised IRR of RA9184. Uh, instruction to bidders for domestic preference. The procuring entity will be grant a margin of preference for the purpose of comparison of bids of bids in accordance with sections 43.1.2 of revised IRR of RA9184. Uh, detailed evaluation and comparison of bids. First, the procuring box shall immediately conduct a detailed evaluation of all bids rated past using a non-discretionary pass-fail criteria. The box shall consider the conditions in the evaluation of bids under Section 32.2 of the 2016 revised IRR of RA9184. If the project allows partial bids, bidders may submit a proposal on any of the lots or items and evaluation will be undertaken on a per lot or 
item basis as the case may be. In this case, the bid security as required by the ITB close 15 shall be submitted for its slot item separately. Then for close 19.3, the description of the lots or items shall be indicated in section 7, technical specification, although the ABC of these lots or items are indicated in the BDS for the purpose of NFCC computation pursuant to section 23.4.2.6 of the 2016 IRR of RA9184, then NFCC must be sufficient for the total of the ABCs for all of the lots or items participated in the process in by the prospective bidder. So in the B data sheet for this uh, item close, uh, this close 19.3, the partial bid is not allowed. The goods are grouped in a single lot and the lot shall not be divided into sublots for the purpose of bidding, evaluation, and contract awarding. The project shall be awarded as follows. One project having several items shall be awarded as one contract except for bidders submitting a committed line of credit from Universal Commercial Bank in lieu of its NFCC computation, all bids must include the NFCC computation pursuant to Section 23.4.1.4 of the 2016 revised IRR of RA9184, which, more, which must be sufficient for the total of the ABCs for all the lots or items participated in by the prospective bidder. For bidders submitting the committed line of credit, it must be at least equal to 10% of the ABCs for all the lots or items participated in by the prospective bidder. Post-qualification. Within an unextendable period of five calendar days from the receipt by the bidder of the notice from the BAC that it submitted the lowest calculated bid, the bidder shall submit its latest income and business tax returns, tax returns filed and paid through the BIR electronic filing and payment system and other appropriate licenses and permits required by the law and stated in the PTS. Under the bid data sheet, no license is required. Uh, signing of the contract, the documents required in Section 37.2 of the 2016 revised IRR of RA9184 shall form part of the contract. Additional contract documents are indicated in the PTS. General conditions of the contract with corresponding SCC. Scope of the contract. The contract shall include all such items, all though none specifically mentioned that can be reasonably inf inferred as being required for its completion as if such items were expressly mentioned herein. All the provisions of RA9184 and its 2016 revised IRR, including the generic procurement manual and associated issuances, constitute the primary source of the terms and conditions of the contract and thus applicable in contract implementation. For this purpose, for purposes of this clause, the procuring entity's representative at the project site is Mrs. Maria Miraflor V. Andaya. Additional requirements for the completion of this contract shall be provided in the special conditions of contract, SCC. Advanced payments in terms of payment. Advanced payment of the contract amount is provided under Annex T of the revised 2016 IRR and RA9, of RA9184. The procuring entity is allowed to determine the terms of payment on the partial or staggered delivery of the goods procured, provided such partial payment shall correspond to the value of the goods delivered and accepted in accordance with the prevailing accounting and auditing rules and regulation. The terms of payments are indicated in the S. CC. Uh, scope of contract. The contract shall include all such items, although not specific, specifically mentioned, that can be reasonably inferred uh, as being required for its completion if such items were expressly men her, mentioned herein. 
uh, this is without prejudice to Section 74.1 and 74.2 of the 2016 revised IRR of RA9184, allowing the GPPB to amend the IRR, which shall be applied to all procurement activities, the advertisement, posting, or invitation of which were issued after the effectivity of the said amendment. Additional requirement for the completion of these contracts shall be provided in the special conditions of contracts. Advanced payment. Advanced payment of the contract is provided under Annex D of the revised 2016 IRR. The procuring entity is allowed to determine the terms of payments on the partial study delivered the goods procured provided the partial payment. Provided partial payments shall correspond to the value of the goods delivered and accepted in accordance with prevailing accounting and auditing rules and regulation. Performance security within 10 calendar days from the receipt of the notice of award by the bidder from the procuring entity, but in no case later than prior to the signing of the contract by both parties. The successful bidder shall furnish the performance security in any of the forms described in Section 39 of the 2016 revised IRR of RA9184. Inspections of tests and tests. The procuring entity of, or its representative shall have the right to in, inspect and or to test the goods to confirm their conformity to the project specification at no co extra cost. cost to the procuring entity in accordance with the generic procurement manual. In addition to the test in the SEC section four, section four technical specification shall specify what inspection or test the procuring entity requires and where they are to be conducted. The procuring entity shall notify the supplier in writing in a timely manner of the identity of any representatives retained for these purposes. All reasonable facilities and assistance for the inspection and testing of goods, including access to the drawings and production data, shall be provided by the supplier to the authorized inspector at no charge to the procuring entity. Special conditions, the inspections and tests that will be conducted shall include but not limited to physical inspection in, and inventory or whatever additional test that the technical inspection team may require. Warranty. In order to assure the manufacturing defect shall be corrected by the supplier, a warranty shall be required from the supplier. The procuring entity shall promptly notify the supplier in writing of any claims arising, arising under this warranty. Upon receipt of such notice, the supplier shall repair or replace the defective goods or parts thereof without cost to the procuring entity. Liability of the supplier. The supplier's liability under this contract shall be as provided by the laws of the Republic of the Philippines. If the supplier is a joint venture, all partners to the joint venture shall be jointly and severally liable to the procuring entity. Schedule of requirements. Uh, the descriptions of, of the descriptions are portable air traffic light guns, quantity is six sets and a total of six sets. And a charter cradle station, quantity is six units and a total also of six units. So the, deli the delivery for this should be 90 calendar days. Technical specifications. For this item, the supply and delivery of seven seven six sets of portable delivery of six sets of portable air traffic light gun with the following minimum requirements first beam spread not less than one degree nor greater than three degrees light colors red green and white light intensity at least six thousand candles for colored lights light control intermittent or continuous operations activated by color coded backlit push button lamp at least 100 watts power at least 12 volts rechargeable battery uh, for the charger cradle station the power should be 90 to 130 130 volt ac or 180 to 260 volt ac 50 or 60 hertz auto select 
status indicator, red, green LED. Note, package to include a spare battery in lamp for each unit. Distribution equipment will be installed at Dumaguete, Usamis, and the rest will be stored at ANS Technical Center. Delivery 90 calendar days after receipt of firm order. Warranty one year against factory defect. Checklist. Technical component envelope for the Class A documents, legal documents. A valid field jobs registration certificate, platinum memberships. All pages or registration certificate from Securities and Exchange Commission, Department of Trade and Industry, DTI, for the sole proprietorship or cooperative development authority for cooperatives or its equivalent document. And mayors or business permit issued by the city or municipality where the principal place of business of the prospective leader is located or the equivalent document for exclusive economic zones or areas and a tax clearance per executive order number 398 series of 2005 2005 as finally reviewed and approved by the bureau of internal revenue for the technical documents statement of the prospective bidders of all its ongoing government and private contracts including contracts awarded but not yet started if any whether similar or non, not similar in nature and complexity to the contracts to be bid. And a statement of the bidder, single largest completed contract, SLCC, similar to the contract to be bid, except under condition provided for its sections 23.4.1.3 and 23.4.2.4 .4 of the 2016 revised IRR of RA9184 within the relevant period as provided in the bidding document. And original copy of bid security, if in the form of surety bond, submit also a certification issued by the insurance commissions or original copy of notarized bid securing declaration and conformity with the technical specifications, which may include product, production delivery schedule, manpower requirements, and or after sales parts if applicable. And original duly signed omnibus sworn statement, and if applicable, original notarized secretary certificate in case of a corporation, partnership, or cooperative or original special power of attorney of all members of that joint venture, giving full power and authority to its officer to sign the OSS and do acts to present the bidder. Also, legal clearance will be issued by the CAAP Enforcement and Legal Service with respect to the non pendency of any case of prospective bidders against the authority and a certification under oath attesting that they have no pending case against the government in addition to the eligibility requirement for bidders as prescribed in the revised implementing rules and regulation of RA9184. For the financial document, uh, the supplier audited financial statement showing among others, the supplier's total and current assets and liabilities stamp received by the BIR or its duly accredit accredited authorized institutions for the proceeding calendar which should not be earlier than two years from the date of bid submission. And a prospective bidder's computation of NFCC or a committed line of credit line for universal or commercial bank in lieu of the, its NFCC computation. For the Class B documents, if a clear cabal, a duly signed joint venture agreement, JBA, in case the joint venture is really in existence, or a duly notarized statement from all the potential joint venture partners stating that they will enter into and abide by the provisions of JBA in the instance that the bid is successful. Other documentary requirements under RA9184 as applicable for foreign bidders claiming by reason of the counter extension or reciprocal rights of Filipinos, a certification from the relevant government office of their country stating that Filipinos are allowed to participate in government procurement activities for the same item or product 
and the certification certification from the DTI if the bidder claims preference as a domestic bidder or domestic entity. For the financial component envelope, envelope original or duly signed and accomplished financial bid form and original or duly signed and accomplished price is scheduled. The price is scheduled for goods offered from within the Philippines and for price scale of goods offered from abroad. Uh, uh, okay, the next part is the discussion and clarification from the prospective bidders. That ends my presentation. Okay, uh, thank you, Manny. So, uh, so the prospective bidders, uh, do you have some clear? Do you have clarification or question with regards to the present presentation for this project? Good afternoon, uh, Malcolm Ong from Ibercon Builders. Uh, cl cl clarification regarding installation. Two units will kasama po yung installation. Sir, uh, um, ang scope po ng work that is supply and delivery lang po, wala pong installation. So actually, uh, yung nilagay lang namin doon na mapupunta doon, pero ang lahat po ng items will be delivered here at the ANS Technical Center. Kami na po yung papadala and then kami na rin po mag -install. Okay, thank you po. Any more question? Uh, Secretary, at ilan yung participating bidders dito? As of for this project, Mr. Chair, we have three. For this project, so okay, so uh, how about the other two brothers, sir? Two prospective bidders. Okay. Ato, okay. So, how about the other bidder? Do you have some question? Do you have question? Okay, I see. I think there is no more question. So, Secretariat, please uh, inform the bidders uh, uh, up to when we could we we are allowed to uh, how up to when we could submit their. Uh, Query about this project. Prospective leaders, uh, it's been formed as based on the provisions of RA 9184. Um, the clarification of increase for this particular project may still be accepted at this uh, 10 calendar days before the opening of bids. It is uh, on and forth. It's expected if, if received uh, the bid increase received within that period, expect to give seven day calendar, seven day calendar, seven calendar days uh, that the response be made. It should be uh, noted also that uh, um, there's a need for the payment of the uh, bid documents. Uh, before the uh, back to the uh, response to taken thank you okay so uh, with that uh, thank you to the uh, participating bid pro uh, prospective leaders and we are hoping that you will if you have additional question or clarification you will submit it on the given uh, allowed date thank you and uh, okay Thank you, and uh, Secretariat, let's go to the next agenda. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, sir, uh, let me again share my screen for the agenda. Next in the agenda, Mr. Chair, for the COVID conference for the project emergency replacement of one unit, 600 kilowatt chiller at the international airport. With an ABC of 13 million four hundred seventy thousand or at seven and zero white cents. Then user is NS. Uh, before before the presentation of secretariat, uh, could you please identify the prospective bidders? 
how many how many and what company as per initial uh, uh, list this year uh, we have LBC Ilo Ilo sales and sales through them we have two prospective leaders Mr. Chair based on the listings in our uh, virtual uh, uh, box. May I request to may I request representatives from LDC, Iloilo Sales and uh, mag-left mag po yung isa po. Again, may I request LDC, Iloilo Sales to confirm are you prospective bidder for this project? Yes, sir. Confirm, po. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, po. Based on the chat box, Mr. Chair, as well, sales crew that signifies its intention to attend, but he just left off. Okay, okay so, uh, uh, CWG, proceed with the presentation, and then we hope that they, they could join before the question and answer. Okay, so proceed presentation. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, ADMS uh, TWG will, will present uh, for this project. Um, Baksek, uh, please kindly confirm if you can see the uh, presentation on the, uh, in the screen. Yes, uh, we could see. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Bak, uh, uh, Chairman and members of the uh, Bak Alpha. Um, this is the pre-bid conference for the emergency replacement of one unit 600 kilowatts chiller at Iloilo International Airport. So I'll be presenting first the bid data sheet for ITB Plus One uh, procuring entities, CAP, and the name of the contract, emergency replacement of one unit 600 kilowatt shielder at Iloilo Airport. The ID number for the contract is bid number 22-0206 alpha. Uh, the funding source is from the CAAP APPCY22 in the amount of 13 million 470,127 pesos and one cent. ITB Clause 3, three uh, certific Certificate of Site Inspection signed by Airport Manager of Iloilo International Airport or is duly authorized representative. Uh, this shall include the following documents, uh, cop copy of company ID of the person who conducted the site inspection, copy of the airport facility visitor log logbook, picture of the proposed site including the person who conducted the site inspection together with the airport manager or his duly authorized representative. Uh, this is the sample illustration of the certificate of site inspection, the company ID and the airport logbook. ITB 5.3 for this purpose, uh, contract similar to this the, to the project shall be supply delivery installation of chiller and completed within the last five years prior to the deadline for the submission and receipt of bids. ITB 7.1 subcontracting is not allowed. ITB 16 uh, each and every page thereof shall be initial signed by the duly authorized representative of the bidder. Submitted, submitted eligibility, technical, and financial documents shall be pro properly marked with the index tabs and must be sequentially paginated in accurate order in the form page 3 of 100, uh, page number of last page of the document per envelope basis. Pagination should be sequentially based on the entire span of the whole documents inside the envelope. Uh, the sample illustration, um, table of content, index tab, 
uh, with initial sign and must be sequentially paginated in an accurate order. By TB16, each bidder shall submit one original copy of technical eligibility component and financial component. All envelopes must be labeled as follows, name of the contract to be bid in capital letters, name and address of the bidder in capital letters, name and address of the procuring entities back identified in ITB clause 10.1, where the specific identification of this bidding process indicated in the invitation to bid and bear a warning do not open before, before the date and time for the opening of bids. Uh, the procuring entity's address is CAP, Mia Road, Pasay City, and shall be addressed to Captain Donaldo A. Mendoza, Chairman of Bacalfa. Uh, the submission of this is uh, at the back office of CAP. Deadline for submission is at uh, June 20, 2022, 2 p.m. And the opening is at the CAP conference room at 20, June 2022, 2 p.m. Uh, this is the checklist of the technical and financial documents. First is the legal documents. Uh, first, uh, valid field jobs registration certificate. Uh, registration certificate from SEC, DTI, um, or business permit issued by the city or municipality where the principal place of business of the prospective leader is located, tax clearance, statement of the prospective leader of all its ongoing government and private contracts, including contracts awarded but not yet started. Statement of the bidder's single largest completed contract, similar to the contract to be bid. Regional copy of bid security. Confo uh, project requirements, we shall include the following. Conformity with the technical specifications, which may include production, delivery, schedule, manpower requirements, and or after sales parts, if applicable. Original duly signed omnibus sworn statement. And if applicable, original notarized secretary certificates in case of uh, corporation, partnership, or cooperative. Or original special power of attorney of all members of the joint venture. Then next, the contractor shall include in a technical document the brochures of the proposed chiller and other accessories, including all materials with description and specifications to be installed in the project. All chiller and other access shall be to installed without prior approval of CAP. Shall be at the list of the. In case of a different brand and model of chiller offered, the contractor shall include in the technical documents at least one certification of a previous completed project wherein they installed a different brand and model of chiller and was able to integrate with the existing chillers. Certificate of site inspection, a copy of company ID, copy of the logbook and picture of the proposed site. Financial documents, the supplier's audited financial statements, uh, prospective bidders NFCC, and for class B documents, duly signed joint venture, For the financial component envelope, uh, original duly signed and accomplished financial bid form, original duly signed and accomplished bill of quantities, bill of materials for goods offered from abroad and in, within the Philippines. Other documentary requirements for foreign bidders claiming by reason of their country's success of reciprocal rights to Filipinos or certification from the relevant government office of their country stating the Filipinos are allowed to participate in government procurement activities for the same item or product. Certification from the DTI if the bidders claim preference as a domestic bidder or domestic entity. For the project technical details, uh, the scope of the scope of work, uh, SPL1, mobilization, demobilization, 
uh, dismantling works, uh, recovery and disposal of R407 C refrigerant from one unit screw type air cooled water chiller, disconnecting and bolting of existing inlet and outlet chilled water pipes of the existing chiller, cladding, wirings, fittings, and other accessories. Dismantling and lifting of one unit screw type air cooled water chiller, including all the components but not limited to the compressors, evaporator, and condensed. Uh, condenser tubes and three pieces circuit breakers. The contractor shall demolish if there is a need any obstruction such as hangers and supports for the removal of one unit air co cooled water chiller and mounting of the new chiller. All structural and architectural finishes damaged during the course of work shall be restored to its original condition. Number two, supply delivery Installation testing and commission of one unit 600 kilowatt screw type air cooled water chiller and other air conditioning system complete with all the mechanical, electrical, and control components. Supply delivery, installation, testing, and commissioning. Of one unit 600 kilowatt screw type air cooled water chiller with all accessories. Supply installation of three new pieces, 200 ampere circuit breakers. Reconnect, rebolt the existing inlet and outlet shield water pipes, fittings, cladding, wirings, and other accessories into one new unit chiller. Charging of additional refrigerant if needed. The contractor shall provide the additional pad if the existing concrete pad is not sufficient to conform the chiller manufacturer's requirement. Uh, technical specifications, the cooling capacity, 600 kilowatts, 170. 170 tonner. Refrigerant R407C. Power supply, power supply 440 to 460 volts, three phase 60 hertz. Circuit breaker current rating 3 by 200 ampere, three 200 amperes. Uh, piping connection 680 mm diameter. BMS connectivities, net FX. The chiller shall also be capable and must have the following specifications. The chillers can function as a part loading cooling system. Each com compressor shall be electrically and mechanically isolated so that if a compressor fails or needs to be serviced, it can be serviced or removed from the chiller without disabling the other compressors and al allowing the chiller to remain in operation with the other compressors online. The chiller shall have minimum outlet temperature of 44.6 Fahrenheit and an inlet temperature of 54 degrees Fahrenheit. The chiller shall be building management system ready and can communicate to Savic NetFX, which is the current BMS software of Iloilo International Airport. The, the, the chiller shall be able to integrate with the existing chiller water system of the Iloilo International Airport. Terms and condition. The contractor shall include in the technical documents the brochures of the proposed chiller and other accessories, including all materials with description and specifications to be installed at, in the project. All chiller and other accessories to be installed without prior approval of CAP shall be at the risk of rejection. In case of a different brand and model chiller offered, the contractor shall include in the technical documents at least one certification of a previous completed project wherein they installed a different brand and a model of chiller and was able to integrate with existing chillers. Uh, the project shall be completed within 180 calendar days. All works must be done without disruption on the working condition of the working areas. The contractor shall conduct factory tests on the chiller with test by two CAAP authorized representatives. Prior to the shipment, all costs for visa requirements, if needed, transportation, board, and logistics of the two uh, authorized representatives shall be for the account of the contractor. The contractor shall operate the chiller for a period of six months after commissioning. The chiller warranty shall be for a period of one year after acceptance of the project. The warranty shall include the compressors, other parts, and labor. The contractor shall conduct monthly preventive maintenance of the chiller. 
and must submit monthly PM reports to Iloilo, Iloilo International Airport during the warranty period. Payment will be made as follows. Full payment will be made after issuance of the by the cap of certificate of acceptance and submission of all documents. And all payments shall be subject to applicable taxes. The execution of all works shall be subject to the inspection and acceptance by the CAP authorized representatives. So this is the site development plan. Uh, this is located at the central plant of Iloilo International Airport. Chiller demolition plan. This is the location of the replacement of chillers. So, uh, that's all, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you. Okay, uh, tapos na yung presentation. Okay. In, yes, uh, sir. Okay. So, uh, to the two uh, prospective leaders, my question kayo. At uh, beforehand, uh, yung LDC Iloilo Sales, uh, may I know ano yung product na kinikiri ninyo? Anong trailer yun? Brand? Hitachi po, sir. Good afternoon po. How about yung sales through Tinder? Anong kinikirin ninyong chiller? Wala na yata siya, no? Okay, anyway. LDC, Iloilo Sales. So, mayroon kayong question dun sa presentation ng aming PWG. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Si Ikol Dan po to. Um, regarding dun sa binanggit na five years, yung uh, previous na contract, um, hindi ba po rin ten years na yun, sir? Kasi nung time na nagkaroon ng pandemic, medyo madala ang ulan na pong project dun eh. Okay. PWG, please. And end you, sir. Please reply. Uh, Mr. Chair, yes, okay. um, uh, if we will allow the 10 year period, um, we should uh, base it in the bid bulletin. If, okay. if so, it will be a blue. So. Kayo yung uh, kayo nga din tinatanong namin. Uh, uh, okay ba yun sa inyo kung uh, ya allow natin yan o hindi? Uh, ask po sir muna sa ano sa end user kung kung end ano user. okay end user uh, ano yung kwan dito reply niya dito Uh, uh, sir, uh, okay. yes, sir. Uh, we can accept the ten years. Okay, ganito na lang. So, okay, so uh, kung uh, uh, that is the request of LDC Iloilo Sales na ten, uh, 
I said of my five years ang uh, experience or latest so latest uh, thing, five years ang experience ay gagawin ten years, then uh, we will issue bid bulletin. Uh, it, that is the uh, that is the uh, uh, recommendation of the of the uh, end user. Or if the end user agree with that request of the LDC Iloilo sales. Sir, um, meron po akong tanong dito. Uh, just in case na ayaw papayag ng ano ng uh, tawag dito ng end user since uh, during pandemic, uh, okay lang ba since wala kaming project nung tanong yun eh, um, okay lang ba uh, parang yung amount is the same lang doon sa ano or more than doon sa ano sa amount ng project okay lang ba yun hindi ko hindi ko maintindihan yung tanong Hi, sir yung hindi tanong ko sir yung tanong ko sir uh, kung hindi wala kaming this similar project within 5 years uh, yung contracting capacity o yung amount ng contract is more higher than the con, yung contract ngayon yung EBC ngayon Pwede lang bang ganun na, sir? Kasi kung the same project or similar project, medyo mahihirapan kami doon makapasok doon. So, within five years po yun, sir. Uh, TWG? Uh, sir, may I? Yeah, okay, Raul. Okay, go ahead. Uh, sir, uh, uh, doon sa bidder, Sir, uh, ano po yun eh, uh, requirement po talaga yun doon sa batas na 50% of the ano is dapat similar project. Uh, kasi po, uh, baka magka-problema tayo kung kung hindi kami, kung wala kayong similar project na ginawa eh. Pag sa implementation po, magkaka-problema tayo. Okay. So kung hmm. ano sir, yung sa so 10 years sir, uh, we are sure you uh, pwede po kami doon. Kasi lampas uh, na po ng 5 years yung contract namin before eh. Uh, kung nag ano na po yung end user na payag sila uh, katulad na sinabi ni Pak uh, ni chairman na magi issue na lang po ng bid bulletin about that. Ah uh, okay, sige po sir. Sige po. Salamat po Mr. Chair. Thank okay. you din po sir. Okay. So may mayroon pang question. Nat Hello nakapag- sir. Good afternoon po ulit. Uh, uh, sige, sir, sir, itatanong ko lang po yung sa acknowledgement sa page 40, 49 po. Ah, uh, isasama po ba ito, sir, sa documents? Ah, uh, TWG, please go to page 49. 49, saan ba yan? Ma'am, page 49 of ano ano ko document. 49 of 71 po sir, yung sa acknowledgement po. Kani yung acknowledgement ma'am, sorry. Ito po sir. Ito po sir. Ito po Hindi, katukong nyo na nga sa unang. Uh, Mami, ito po ba yung sinasabi ng acknowledgement? Opo,
Uh, ma'am, ano po magiging problem if hindi siya kasama sa sa ano? Kasi para kasama po siya sa Bidox eh. So I think ano po kasama po siya sa uh, requirement natin. LDC representative ano yung ano yung kanya po sa niya dito Hello po sir Go ahead go ahead Apo tapos po sir your regarding po sana sa ano pag bumili po kami ng documents uh, pwede po bang bank transfer po uh, Okay uh, uh representative from LDP sa isa lang ano So yung tanong mo dito muna sa acknowledge yung Ay, nasa, okay. nasa print out. So ano Ay, yung okay. concern? Ah uh, yung sa acknowledgement sir, uh, tatanong ko lang kung kasama po ba siya ito sa bidding do sa documents po. Ah okay. uh, at sa ano na buong ano na po pag nag-submit po kami ng documents. Okay, ang sagot diyan ay kasama. Ah kasama. Okay, okay. Sige, no problem sir. Tapos sir yung ano po, yung doon sa payment po pag bumili kami ng documents pwede po bang bank transfer po or, or uh, the answer Hello sir Hello Tito Balyo din narinig niya yung yung tanong Oh, ah, sir, 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 uh, i-double check lang namin kung paano pa. Uh, Mr. Chair, kung meron sigurong taga-boxet kung pwede silang makapagbigay din ng ano, kung meron silang alam na regarding sa payment. Ah, uh, Black Secretariat, may uh, may tanong dito, pwede bang magbayad ng ano? Yung tanong ng ano, ng bidder kung pwedeng magbayad through ano 'yan? Through ano po, sir? Yes. Anong anong mode of payment po? Through Kasi, bank transfer raw, uh, Mr. Chair, ang tanong ng uh, LDC. Bank so, transfer. Time of bank transfer, yun ang tanong. Uh, I will try to confirm first, sir, sa, ano, sa ating case-sharing division or sa, ano, sa collection. If they are so, uh, accepting that mode of payment, As of this so, moment, oh, pwede, ano? pwede ba yung kanya sa bid bulletin? Sasama pa natin sa bid bulletin? So, we'll try to confirm first, Mr. Chair, kung ano po yung ano ng process. Then if we there's a process for that, then we should, siguro we will be proceeding with the issuance of the bid bulletin. Okay. So, okay. representative from LDC, narinig niya nun kung isasama namin sa bid bulletin kung ano yung kwan, tungkol dun sa query ninyo? Opo. Paki-indicate na rin po Mr. Chair ng LDC yung contact details nila para ma bibigyan ko yung aming pag-respond. Opo. Okay. Thank you po. Thank you po, sir. Yung email tsaka contact numbers po siguro. Telephone tsaka lang. Mobile na lang. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you po. Okay. May, may question pa? Ang? Ang? Sa Sige sir, uh, ano na lang, aabangan uh, na lang namin yung addendum. Okay, sige. Uh, so nandito, nakita ko nag-join ang admin through temperature join, uh, temp join na nakipag-join. So nandito na yung isang B, prospective bidder. Mayroong question kayo? Through temp? 
My question? Uh, sir, question lang po. Can it be possible na site inspection po? PWG, please reply. Ma'am, pwede naman po mag-conduct ng site inspection anytime before the uh, deadline of, uh, of uh, bidding. Thank you po, sir. Okay, may question pa? Uh, sir, may add lang po ako. Uh, regarding po sa, ano, sa ceiling ng documents natin, ilang copy po ba? Yung original lang po ba? Kasi, di ba, yung... Mostly kasi na ano is original, copy 1, copy 2. PWG? Uh, Ma'am, ma one copy na lang po yung require yeah, namin ngayon. Uh, Ay, okay. Sige, so, no sorry. need for additional oh. copies po ng technical uh, and financial component. Okay po. Thank you po. Okay. So, mga question? Uh, okay naman. Na po kami, sir. Wala na po. Okay, how about the true temp? Mayroon pa? Okay, anyway, uh, Secretariat, uh, pakikuan yung, uh, yung deadline ng submission ng kung mayroon silang query pa. Submission through written uh, query kung hanggang kailan para ma-reply natin. Yes, Sir, yes. add lang po sa inovelite ink po ito. Sir, yung tungkol po ito sa site inspection, uh, hingin lang po namin yung ano, contact person and contact number para po if ever makipag-arrange po kami. Uh, uh, before, before that, uh, ano yung rene-represent rene yung company? Inovelite ink po. Uh, dito ba kayo sa project na to? Uh, Chiller po. Chiller. Uh, okay, so... Yes, sir. So, tatlo pala. Kasi kanina, alakala ko dalawa lang. So, uh, Late na po ako nakipasok, sir, kanina kasi na, masyado pong napaagay yung punta ko kanina. Okay, sige. So, uh, okay, ano yung tanong niyo po? Yung pong contact person lang po at saka contact number kung sino po yung uh, kakausapin para po pag ano, arrange po ng site inspection. Okay. So, TWG, please reply. Nasa presentation niya yata yung kanina. Uh, yes, uh, sir, Mr. Chair, uh, well, actually wala pong uh, contact details dun sa, ano, sa, sa presentation. So we will provide na lang po. Uh, can you leave us na lang po yung, ano, yung contact number niya po, ma'am, para ma-send po namin sa inyo yung contact details nung for Certificate of Site Inspection. Uh, siguro ay suggest na ikuha niyo yan sa bid bulletin na para lahat lahat ng ano participating bidders ay ma-inform. Uh, noted po Mr. Chair. Okay, sige, thank you. Thank okay, you. Okay, so uh, mayroon pa? Wait lang, okay. Okay, hearing none. So uh that's it. Thank, thank you for the part in, for the participation in this pre-bid conference and we are hoping that uh you will join. Uh, you will submit your bid on the day of that submission. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes. To the, uh, to the chair, you just ask, yes, sir, Mr. Yeah, just ask the end user from the DMS what is the date of opening of bids in the event for the submission of bids? DMS. Mr. Glenn? Uh, sir, uh, June 28 is opening. Uh, June 28. Uh, will it be sufficient considering the COVID bulletins that will be issued? First, to discuss now if whether uh, the time for the preparation of the COVID bulletins will be sufficient. Um, sir, if... Uh, the, uh, ilan po yung minimum? 14 days po ba? We, For, have, uh, we need to receive at least 10 calendar days we did, if there will be further bid increase from the bidders. So from today, we need to receive them 
release uh, by June 18 or 17 beforehand. So after that, we will no longer entertain in that if there will be no further increase. So that would be the process. Unless the, the end user will be able to provide the David bulletins uh, within seven days prior to June 28. That is June 21 or June 20. And June 20 is Monday. And you need... Uh, say, sir, uh, we will uh, submit the bid bulletin prior ano, uh, seven days before the opening. Say, so, please, uh, para, yes. please coordinate with us na lang. Mr. Glenn, sa, sa back for us to uh, have this big relatives posted on time. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Pa. Yes. Uh, we'll also be posting Mr. Chair the process uh, on how to pay uh, the big documents through bank transfer. Okay. Okay, okay sir. Next agenda. Let's go to the next, next agenda. Yes, Mr. Chair, the next agenda is the presentation of the bid evaluation report for the supply and delivery of NAS emergency radio communications and power systems in the amount of 8,050,000 end users, the ANS. Ericus, a representative from the technical working group to present the bid evaluation report. Thank you. Okay. Proceed. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Uh, Professor, uh, to present the uh, bid evaluation report. Uh, sir, I th uh, before I present, sir, I think there's all still a pending question from Ms. Eloy Asperas for the previous uh, no, uh, project. There's a chat message on the no, uh, asking uh, regarding the last day of clarification. Ah, uh, okay. Sec okay, Secretariat, please uh, reply on this uh, query. Yes, sir. We'll call or email na lang po si Ma'am Eloy kasi naka-nag-left na yata siya sa meeting. Ma'am Eloy, still there? Ay, Ma'am Eloy, it will be... Opo, sir, dito pa po. Uh, it will be on or before June 17. That is the last uh, working day before the 10-day working or 10-calendar day period be, uh, be made or if it falls, Miss Mom Eloy. So, expected po na kung may further increase po kayo, kindly submit it on, until Friday po. Okay po, sir. Thank you po uh, sa attention. Papa, thank you. Thank you po. I leave na po. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so, yep. uh, thank you, sir. Uh, Mr. Chair, may I re also request the back secretariat to uh, uh, to uh, request the other bidders to uh, 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 to leave the room? Yes, sir. Or leave the chat? Yes, sir. To true tap, can you leave na po? Okay, nag leave na po yata sila, Sir John. Thank you. Okay, po. Thank you, sir. Okay. okay. Um, Mr. Chair, uh, thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, Mr. Chair and members of the yeah, committee yeah. on the screen is the bid evaluation report of uh, BAC TWG Alpha for for the supply and delivery of ANS emergency radio communications and power systems uh, uh, with the project location at ANS and with an ABC of 8,050,000 um, with calendar uh, 90 calendar days project duration. This is under bid number 22005-04 alpha. 
the project was published uh, back in April 26, 2022, and that the bid opening wa was conducted last May 17, 2022 at 2 p.m. at um, CAP conference room. Uh, for the project, for the background, uh, Wireless Link Technologies Incorporated is the only bidder that purchased and participated in the procurement for the project with OR number 129272 dated uh, 10 May 2022. The w Wireless Link Technologies Incorporated submitted its bid proposal within the deadline and was open and checked in the presence of the bidder's representatives by online. The bid proposal of Wireless Link Technologies Incorporated was rated as passed in the preliminary examination of its bid during the opening of bids for having submitted the required documents specified in the bidding document using a non-discretionary pass-fail criteria. BAC approved the, to proceed with the bid evaluation of Wireless Link Technologies Incorporated and bid proposal following TWG uh, recommendation. For the findings, the submitted bid proposal of Wireless Link Technologies Incorporated is 7,677,470 pesos and the TWG calculated bid proposal is the same which is 7,677,470 pesos. Uh, the, the proposal of Wireless Link Technologies Incorporated is a complete bid, a single calculated bid and the submitted bid proposal is within the ABC. The tendered bid proposal of Wireless Link was a certain complete for offering all the required items using the prescribed forms. The calculated bid of Wireless Link Technologies is equal to the submitted bid proposal and is below the ABC of the project. And that uh, the bid proposal is considered as the single calculated bid. For the TWG recommendation, uh, with reference to the f above findings, the bid proposal of Wireless Link Technologies Incorporated is recommended to be declared as the single calculated bid and that a post-qualification evaluation be conducted to determine whether the bidder concerned complies with and is responsive to all the requirements and conditions as specified in the bidding documents. Attached in the bid evaluation report, Mr. Chair, is the abstract of bids as calculated and the as um, the calculated bid, bid as attachment one showing no difference between the calculated bid price and the submitted bid price of uh, um, the bidder um, Wireless Link Technologies Incorporated for consideration and approval of the uh, committee, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Jupet, for the presentation. Okay, so TTWG is uh, based on the report of TWG. They are recommending that uh, uh, a post-qualification post be undertaken to wireless link uh, technologies for this project. Any uh, motion or comment? Motion, Mr. Chair. Okay, go ahead, Elmer. Motion to adopt the recommendation of TWG to conduct the post qualification of the bid proposal of Wireless Link Technology Incorporated. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Elmer. So, uh, any second motion? Mr. Chair, if uh, no, the end user is also present, Mr. Chair. Yeah, I think end user, Sir Arnold, can do the second. Okay. Okay, so uh, with that, uh, um, end user. Mr. Chair, I second the motion. Okay, thank you. Uh, PWG, uh, considering the uh, time, uh, I would like to request that, if possible, uh, the, the result of this possible vision be presented 
uh, on the 28th uh, of June or earlier so that uh, we could complete the procurement process and we could recommend for the issue of ones of uh, notice of award if they pass the post qualification report is that possible um yes mr chair will comply mr chair um we may we also request that the box secretary issue the necessary uh PQ letter for the uh, wireless link technologies technologies incorporated so that they can they'd be able to submit earlier the documents mr chair thank you okay thank you secretariat please take note on that julie noted mr chair okay okay so let's proceed to next agenda Next in the agenda, Mr. Chair, is the... Nakikita na po ba, Mr. Chair? Yes, yes, sir. Is the preventive maintenance servicing of air conditioning system at Philippines Air Traffic Management Center in the amount of 1,520,000 pesos. Again, we request the technical working group for the presentation of the evaluation report. Thank you. Okay, let's proceed. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair. May I present to you the deep evaluation report for the preventive maintenance servicing of air conditioning units at Philippine Air Traffic Management Center. Can you see the... the wala pa, wala pa. I am sharing now. So this is the mid evaluation report for the preventive maintenance servicing of air conditioning unit at Philippine Air Traffic Management Center. The location of the project is at Philippine Air Traffic Management Center and the approved budget is 1,520,000 and the project duration is one year with bid number 22-006-04 alpha date published it was 26 april 2022 and the date in place of opening of bids is 17 may 2022 2 p.m at cap conference room moises mahina yung sound mo okay ayos okay uh is it uh louder now Kasama ng konti, mas parang malayo yung microphone mo. Okay. The background, Rose Air Enterprises is the only bidder that purchased and participated in the procurement of the project with OR number 0842, dated, 20, dated 16th May 2022. Rose Air Enterprises Incorporated submitted its bid proposal within the deadline and was opened and check during the scheduled opening of bids. The bid proposal of Bros Air Enterprises Incorporated was rated as passed after the preliminary examination of its submitted bid for having submitted the required documents specified in the bidding document using a non-discretionary pass-pay criteria. With the TWG recommendation, the BAC approved to proceed with the bid evaluation of the submitted bid. Our findings, the submitted bid is 
and the calculated bid is also 1,504,800. So it is completed bid, submitted bid proposal is within the ABC. The tendered bid proposal of Rose, Inter Rose Air Enterprise Incorporated was a certain complete for, the offer for offering all the required items using the prescribed forms. The calculated bid of Rose Air Enterprise Incorporated is equal to the submitted bid proposal and is within the ABC of the project. The bid proposal of Rose Air Enterprise Incorporated is considered as the single calculated bid. Therefore, the back TWG Alpha recommendations the following. With reference to the above findings, the back TWG Alpha recommends the submitted bid of Rose Air Enterprise Incorporated to be declared as the single calculated bid and to undergo post qualification to determine whether the bidder complies with and is responsive to all the technical requirements and other conditions as specified in the bidding document. So the attachment is the calculations to show that the calculated bid is equal and the same to the submitted bid. That's all, Mr. Chair. Okay. Uh, based on the report of TWG, uh, they are recommending that the post qualification be conducted to the bidder. Um, uh, so, any comment or recommendation? Motion, Mr. Chair. Okay, motion. I move to adopt the recommendation of the PWG to conduct a post qualification for the project preventive maintenance servicing condition in the uh, Philippine APNC. Okay. With the Second, motion. Mr. Chair. Okay. So uh, with the motion, uh, with the recommendation of TWD and uh, first motion and second motion, the back adopt the recommendation for the post qualification for this project, uh, uh, Ros Air, to Ros Air Enterprise Incorporated. Thank you. And also, I would like for formality, I would like to announce that uh, the back will adopt the. Uh, recommendation for the post qualification of the previous project uh, which was decided previously okay so agenda next agenda uh, secretary next in the agenda mr chair is the, the presentation of the build evaluation report for the spare parts for Thales monopoles secondary surveillance reader nationwide with the amount of 5 million pesos. Again, I request the technical working group from the ANS to present the report. Thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, I, will share, I will share now my uh, evaluation report for uh, <coughs> spare parts Uh, this is the bid evaluation report of Buck Alpha TWG for the supply and delivery of spare parts for Talis Monopole Secondary Surveillance Radar nationwide. So the approved budget for contract is 5 million, and this is through the recontracting, and the bidder is Pacific Hemisphere Development Corporation with a submitted bid of 5 million. Uh, background. The supply and delivery of spare parts for Talents Radar at various airports is included in CAP 2022 and the procurement plan. In this procurement activity, a direct contracting mode of procurement was employed after complying the requirements set forth in the Public Act RA 9184 
and its complementing rules and regulations. Last 31 of May 2022, a negotiation held at CAP conference room with Pacific Hemisphere Development Corporation, which signified its intention to bid and negotiate for the above mentioned project by procuring the corresponding bid document. Our findings. The bidder, Pacific Hemisphere Development Corporation, submitted all the required eligibility, technical, and financial document and rated as passed during the bid opening or negotiation. Pacific Hemisphere Development Corporation original bid proposal of 5 million is equal to the ABC of 5 million. During the negotiation, Pacific Hemisphere Corporation gave no discount on their offered price. The final bid offered is 5 million. Therefore, our recommendations based on the above findings, the BAP PWG recommends Pacific Hemisphere Development Corporations to undergo post qualification to determine whether the bidder concern complies with and it's responsive to all the requirements and conditions as specified in this project. That's all, Mr. Chair. Okay. Thank you, TWG, for the presentation. And the TWG presented uh, the bid evaluation report for the project uh, spare parts of radar. And uh, the, the bidder is uh, Pacific Chemistry Development Corporation. So any motion for any motion or comment? Uh, for the motion, Mr. Chair. motion. Go ahead, Elmer. The chair uh, would like to adopt, move to adopt the recommendation of the technical working group to conduct post qualification to Pacific and the Development Corporation for project supply for the offer supply delivery at Spare Pass for Tariff in the country. Thank you, Elmer. Okay, any second the motion, Mr. Chair. Thank you, sir. So uh, with that, the uh, back adopt the recommendation of TWG with the motion and second motion for the conduct of post evaluation for the Pacific Hemisphere Development Corporation. And again, I would like to reiterate uh, my request to TWG if they could uh, complete the post qualification before 28th of June, uh, which is uh, I am that will that might be our last meeting back meeting or if earlier we could do it earlier so that we could complete the uh, procurement process thank you uh wi secretariat we have an other uh, agenda yes mr chair the agenda is the presentation of Post qualification report and the project supply in the legal Yes, sir. For road and swipes, BCS at Panglao Airport with an ABC of 2,440,467.15. Again, may I request the technical working group for the presentation of the report. Thank you. Great, <laughs> In the value G. Um, just a minute, sir. Mm. Uh, okay, na po ba? Just um, screen. Yes, pero okay. medyo maliit yata. Uh, Lakyan ng konti. Okay again. okay, again, good afternoon. Uh, I will present the post-qualification report, report for the project Supply and Delivery of Spare Parts for Rodin Swartz VCS at Panglao Airport. Uh, the location for, of this project is uh, to be delivered at Air Navigation Service, Technical Center Building, Kaap Compound, Pasay City. The ABC for the project is 2,440,267.15 centavos. Date of opening of bid, January 31, 
2022, CBA 20-2205-381. The bidder is Rodin Swartz, Philippines. Submitted bid negotiated is 2,435,327 and 75 cents. Uh, background of the project. Mm. Supply and delivery of spare parts for Rodin Swartz VCS at Panglao Airport was directly negotiated with Rodin Swartz Philippines Incorporated, the exclusive RNS product distributor in the Philippines. During the nego negotiation meeting, the bid proposal of Rodin Swartz Philippines Incorporated was initially rated as pass using a non-discretionary pass-fail criterion for providing the required documents documents specified in the checklist and for having submitted a financial proposal within the ABC of the project. Upon the recommendation of the, of the BAC Alpha Technical Working Group, the bid offered by Rodin Swartz Philippines was further evaluated and the financial proposal was found to be complete, no arithmetical error in the computation, and within the ABC of the project. Hence, the Technical Working Group recommended Rodin Swartz Philippines Incorporated to un undergo the post-qualification process. Uh, during the post-qualification process, the findings are as follows. Class A documents, eligibility documents, certificate of PILGEPS registration, responsive, certificate of exclusive sole distributorship, responsive, registration certificate from the Securities and Exchange Commission, responsive, mayor's permit, responsive, uh, tax clearance not applicable. For the Class B document, not, not applicable. For the technical documents, bid security in accordance with ITB Clause 18, not applicable. Uh, conformity with technical specification as enumerated and specified in POW, Program of Work in the End User's Documents, responsive. Organizational charts, not applicable. For the financial bid, the financial bid form, responsive. The bill of quantities, also responsive. For the during the post qualification document and the post qualification document, the certificate of PILGEPS registration was verified um, uh, responsive. Latest income and business stock returns of Rodin Swartz Philippines also responsive. Other appropriate business licenses and permits required by the law, registration certi certificates, mayor's permit, tax clearance, and pickup licenses, responsive. Road. Okay, for the recommendation, the reference to the above post-qualification evaluation, Road in Suarez, Philippines was found to be responsive as to legal, technical, and financial requirements of the above mentioned project. In this regard, the Technical Working Group of Bids and Awards Committee, Alpha, recommends the awarding of the project supply and delivery of spare parts for Road in Suarez, VCS at Panglao Airport to Road and Swartz Philippines Incorporated, amounting to 2,435,327 pesos and 75 centavos. Signed by the technical working groups. Okay, before I will ask for a motion for adaptation of this proposal, uh, may I request uh, the reason, uh, the explanation why it takes five months? Uh, since the opening of bid uh, until the presentation of uh, post-qualification, what is the reason? Okay, um, the bidding evaluation po, nang, uh, na evaluate po namin ito January, yes. sometimes in the end of January. Uh, sinabmit po namin ito sa back set, then lately na po ito na ibalik sa amin for ano for post evaluation post evaluation opo ah okay sige and uh, so so uh, it has something to do with the change of secretariat uh, not only on the change of secretariat uh, siguro sir doon din sa change of PWG kasi na, nangyari ito during yung transition from attorney marty then to attorney Attorney, uh, Bo. Rabudo, uh, ah, Prision, uh, Prision, uh, then nagkaroon uli ng panibagong transition. So, medyo nagkaroon nata ng, yeah. demo ko, hindi ko may... Okay, sige. Uh, okay. Uh, transition. Siguro yun nga ang naging reason. Gusto ko lang ano kasi uh, for the record, at least uh, mayroon tayong...
uh, reason kung bakit nadili ito. Okay, so with the recommendation of TWG, uh, any motion for this uh, for the adoption of the recommendation of TWG to award the project to Rod and Swartz, uh, Philippines. Take your motion. Go ahead, Elmer. We move to adopt the recommendation of the technical working group to award the project supply and delivery of spare parts for uh, Tonglao Airport to Rod and Swartz, Philippines. Thank you, Elmer. Any, any second the motion? I second uh, the motion, Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you, sir. With the recommendation of TWG as well as the motion and the second the motion, the, back up the recommendation to award the project to Rodan Swartz Philippines for the supply and delivery of spare parts for uh, Rodan Swartz BCS at Panglao Airport. So ordered. Thank you. Okay, so Secretariat, do we have other agenda? Yes, Mr. Chair, for the other matters, um, we wish to inform uh, with the back uh, that the processing of the for the uh, successfully awarded projects uh, as of this year is, is now un, unprocessed. So we hope, sir, that the payment be made before the change of administration. So, okay, thank you. Yan po yung pinaka-update po namin. Uh, as per Ma'am Sandra kanina, dumaan. Uh, ayusin niya po daw bukas. So, <laughs> inukulit na lang po yung mga documents po for the for okay. attachments. So, so, so okay. Thank you for the information. Uh, yes, yes. Lahat naman tayo eh ano yan. Uh, <laughs> yan. So, sige. Sige po. How about the how about the supposed to be scheduled the uh, opening of bids? Kailan mag-o-open yan? Yung isa Mr. Chair, let me confirm lang po. I will check na lang. I will message na lang po yung GC. I wala uh, lang sa akin yung schedule but I think sa July, June 17 yung isa Mr. Chair na project will inform the, the group mamaya po. So June 17, uh, any, any other comment, I, ano, uh, idea on that? Uh, I'm asking about the ILS of uh, NAIA and and the other one? Uh, ano the, I, the ILS, Mr. Teacher, mas matagal po na i-extend po yata yung submission and opening of bids. Uh, we'll try to confirm mamaya po sa BACSEC yung bid bulletin na na-issue po. We'll okay. Na lang po mamaya. So just just a reminder kung ano man yung mga kailangan na ipon sa bid bulletin i, i ano natin kagad para ma-inform yung mga prospective bidders. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, I believe na may na-post naman na po. We'll coordinating as well with the end user and the technical working group on this matter, Mr. Chair. Okay. So uh, okay, mayroon pang uh, mayroon pang mga other matters? And our end, Mr. Chair, Wala na po. Um, it's about TWG. On the part of TWG. Pang wala na. Okay, so about Mr. the... Mr. For TWG, okay. sir. Oh, go ahead, Eva. None for TWG, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, how about the other members of the back? May uh, Mayroon kayong other matters po? None on my side, Mr. Chair. Okay. Okay, so hearing na uh, after that, after Elmer, so thank you for this uh, participation of this meeting. And uh, see you on the next uh, back meeting, probably two more meetings before our, uh, uh, before the end of this, uh, of our, uh, before June 30, which is the, uh, uh, we're expecting that there will be other, uh, another uh, uh, members for this uh, for the back. So, siguro magbabago ng members after June 30. So, uh, we are expecting na mayroon pa tayong dalawang meeting at sana matapos natin yung mga dapat natin tapusin. Okay, thank you. Maraming salamat sa inyo lahat.
Sige sir, thank you po. Thank you po. Thank you sir.